For the first time ever, surgeons in America have managed to transplant a pig kidney into a human being, marking a huge step in kidney disease and in human animal organ transplants in general. This is Akanksha Mishra and in this episode of Pure Science, we'll discuss how scientists use the kidney of a genetically engineered pig for transplantation into a 62-year-old man suffering from end-stage kidney disease. The procedure took place in the Massachusetts General Hospital in Boston on 16th March. According to a statement by the hospital, the four-hour-long surgery was performed under the guidance of the Medical Director for Kidney Transplantation and the patient is currently recovering well and should be discharged soon. For a few years now, scientists have been working to develop xenotransplantation, which is the process of transplanting organs, cells or tissues from a non-human source into a human recipient. Specifically, kidney xenotransplantation has been studied before and in 2022, surgeons at the University of Alabama had successfully transplanted a pig kidney into the body of a brain-dead human. The kidney had started producing urine within 23 minutes and it was functioning normally throughout the 74-hour long experiment. However, since the patient had been declared brain-dead and his other organs had started to fail soon after, the experiment had to be terminated. The Alabama surgeons had said though that the kidney that they transplanted was not rejected by the body at any point. The Massachusetts case though is historic for being the first time a pig kidney transplant occurred in a living person and was a successful procedure. The kidneys were obtained from a pig that was genetically modified by eGenesis, which is a US-based company that engineered the pig to make it compatible with a human body. Certain conditions prevent the successful transplantation of animal organs in humans. The first is the risk of viruses that can sometimes be transmitted between the two beings. And the second is a mismatch between the immune systems of the host and the recipient, because of which the organ can sometimes be rejected by the recipient's body. To prevent this, eGenesis breeds pigs with genetic modifications to make them compatible with human transplantation. eGenesis and the Massachusetts General Hospital have been working on this project for quite a while now. And in a study in Nature Journal in 2023, they outlined how pigs are genetically prepared for the xenotransplantation. The paper said that there were 69 genetic edits that were performed on the pig, which included removing certain harmful genes and enhancing certain human-compatible genes. Also, since pigs' genomes have a particular retrovirus that could cause infections in human beings, that virus was genetically deactivated too. The study and its subsequent execution at the hospital marks an important point in organ transplantation work and it also highlights the acute shortage of organs in the world. According to the Directorate General of Health Services, at least 1.8 lakh people suffer from kidney failure every year in India, but only around 6,000 kidney transplants are done in a year. Kidney failure or chronic kidney disease occurs when the kidney, which is responsible for treating waste and for balancing fluids in your body, does not perform its full function. When there is end-stage kidney disease, the only treatment options that are available are dialysis, when machines are used to perform the kidney's role of filtering blood and removing waste from your body, or a kidney transplant. However, transplants are difficult because of the shortage of donors in the world, and kidneys are actually one of the most transplanted organs in the world. Dr. Winifred Williams, one of the surgeons who worked on the case at the Massachusetts General Hospital, said that it marks a breakthrough in solving one of the biggest problems in the field of organ transplantation, which is unequal access to kidney transplants due to extreme shortage of donors and other system-based barriers. Through genetically modified organ xenotransplantation, the problem of shortage of donors can be overcome. Thank you for tuning into The Print. Follow our social media for more such analysis.